Good day, everybody. My name is Rick Toffin, and welcome back to uh, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy by Telltale Series. Yeah, those guys. Anyways, we're uh, back. It's been two months, almost three, since I've played the game. And, uh, look, they already got episode four. I'm, I'm behind. But anyways, um, Mince is loud. Uh, more than the feeling. Oh, that's, uh, same title for the song by Boston. Cool. Alright, well, sweet, sweet. Let's, uh, play this game. I have no excuse. For, like, previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. Not playing this game. Well, besides, I had computer issues. You don't know. So a lot yeah, of I did have issues. But before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic, I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future, you'll use your words instead of your fists. I will, Mom. I promise. Thank you, baby. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. Is my mom an alien? So yeah, don't don't uh, don't listen to me like what I was said about earlier. I'm I'm an idiot. This game series adapts to the choices that you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Neat. All right. Sweet. Whoop. You're nearly there, Peter. God, I'm in heaven. Is that you, Tethys? Oh, God. Kick ass. Oh, I'm in a bookstore. Dire Warrior, The Landing, VHS. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. What a gentleman. <sighs> Another headache? Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Mm, Just took I me wish by I could surprise. Help. I'm not worried. I wish I could help. I know you do. Some things, Peter, they're not yours to control. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I'll be good. That's no fun. <laughs> I know I that's not anything, always Mom. easy for you. I'll be a perfect little angel, like always. Hmm. I better hurry back then. Uh oh. I'll be back soon. Did I, did I not make the right choice? Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Okay. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Oh, uh, Mr. Pinkle. No wonder you work there. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. You got a good life, man. How's she doing, anyway? Uh... She's fine. Well, glad to hear it. Yeah. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. I don't know if, if I should trust that guy fully. Hey, I Dee Dee. just met him, literally, on my end at least. Whoa. You buddy. make that mix for your boyfriend? Got my cord mixed up. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Clarence. No, it's for your mom. I made it for your mom. Watch it, or you'll be swallowing your own teeth. Shut up. <laughs> Come on now, guy. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls. Hey, how's that lip doing? Hey, nice peeps for Give me that. a mustache. Oh shit! 
What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. Nice black guy. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. You have the worst She's haircut. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Come on. Let's not do this, man. Do what? We're just talking. You gonna cry now? Huh? You done yet? Elephant ears? You must get great reception with those things. Nah, I'm not uh -huh. done. But Use your mom... firepower. She Use sure it back is. on him. My dad goes drinking with her doctor. Told him everything. Guess she didn't feel like it was important enough to tell you. Oh, check it out. Dead woman walking. What's the point? Drugs ain't gonna help. My dad says you're gonna die anyway. Where'd you get those bruises, huh? Your dad? Or does your mom have a good swing too? I'm gonna go to your funeral just to see your son cry. Ah! Get out! My dad's gonna- Out! Ah! You kept your promise. You didn't fight that jerk. See? I'm a good boy. I'm proud of you, Peter. Even though I didn't set a very good example. The things he said. I let my emotions get the better of me. You were awesome. He's just an idiot. Clarence is an idiot. I don't care what he says. You were real strong there, kiddo. He said you were dying, Mom. Is that true? Find me, please. You're so close, Peter. That's some trippy crap. Whoa! Living in the past, achievement unlocked. Nice. What the? More than a few minutes. How did I get home? Yeah. I don't know. Probably what happens when you get roofied, man. This is a real nice change from playing the South Park games. I mean, this is more cinematic. It's kind of nice. I love how each every uh, game company has their own flow, their own touch to it. What the? Gamora? What is up with her? Gamora! She's seeing stuff. Hey. <laughs> what did you just say? Are you okay? I had another vision. Gamora? Saw my mom again. She said I'm close. This temple is really messing with my head. <laughs> Hello, Gamora. Whoa! Oh, hey, Gamora! Come on, what? Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. Back off, Gamora. Oh, my God. Not Nebula. It's me, Peter. You like I'm Peter and definitely do not want to kill. Whoa, come on, this isn't fair. I don't have a sword. Hey, hey, wait, Gamora. Aha. Oh, we're going to her head now. Focus, Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's Whoa. just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing Killing over will change and over you forever. every single day. Be patient. I know you think you want this, but once you've taken a life, there's no going back. Thanos will make you kill again and again, and pretty soon that's all you'll be. Good thing he's dead. Murderer. At least I'd be something. Whoa. <laughs> 
Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> A little impressive. Go on the edge Just there. a little. I can't. Gamora, you're hurting me. Whoa, let her win. Beat her. You're my little sister? I'm gonna have to let you uh, take the fall. Father. Nebula, you have grown so much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> she has come a long way. I'm the best teacher. Uh... I do. She's come a long way. What a pleasant surprise. Perhaps being bested by your sister recalled the importance of humility. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Whoa. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora. I work better alone, Nebula. You were ready. always my favorite. We won't disappoint but you. But you have become cold, distant, forcing me to look to Nebula to tighten the slack. I work better alone. I always have. Nebula doesn't need to be a part of this. From what I witnessed, you could benefit from Nebula's assistance. I can no longer trust you on your own. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care, but if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Ooh. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. <sighs> Is everything all right? What's going on? Am I going to tell her the truth or lie to her? I couldn't hear you, but Father, he didn't look happy. I can't stand this place anymore. I can't stand him anymore. Nebula! Come here! He's like a purple nugget. He's like yelling at her. What the hell did I tell you? He's probably gonna like, make her a cyborg. Kree Outpost. Dude, that looks dope. Right? Alright. I guess see. this is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. Don't screw this up. I got your back. Good luck, Nebula. You can't screw this up, Nebula. If you do. I know what happens if I do. I'm not going to let father down. I think she does. Let's just do this. Uh, hopefully. No, there's no hope in this. Oh well. We could try. How did he not hear that? There you are. Oh 
no. Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! Oh my god, this is where the drama starts. We succeeded together. I just saved your life. You will be so upset with me. I won't tell Thanos. I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Father. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! Whoa. I'm not asking here. Do it! Gamora! No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you... <gasps> Did I just die? Sorry, won't happen again. You were about to stab me. You tried to stab me! So maybe we're even! Perhaps. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, day was... Yeah, I, uh... I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I've been trying not to think of that day. Because I really want to fix things with Nebula. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish. Taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. And why she'll never forgive what I did. I saw what happened. You were just trying to protect her. You can't blame yourself for that. I'm not so sure. Yeah, yeah. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy, despite Thanos, despite everything. We had each other. I love how five minutes we're running and training, maybe, and then... Maybe I could have done more. Like five minutes ago, we were just training. Been more honest. And then she just stabs feeling... me. Ten minutes Stop later. just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. Uh, you can't change the past, Gamora. Yeah, man, you can't. She is who she is. That's exactly it, Peter. Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone. Do it. She is <laughs> Thanos' daughter. Oh, man. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? failed her you didn't fail her listen to me you didn't fail her you don't fail at anything you are the strongest person I know okay and I respect the hell out of you for that and I don't just mean the ass kicking I mean believe me you kick some serious ass I do kick a lot of ass huh 
Hell yeah, you do. Now, come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... weird. Oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop. Peter, wait. This place... It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know You'll what we're protect me, inside, I totally got this. Or why it's been be drawing us here. Yeah, well, if anything goes wrong, you'll be here to protect me, right? <laughs> You're not saying anything, and it's super worrying. Come on, <laughs> seriously? Oh, I love those two. Nice church. Do you recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom... Uh, this is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Thanks for understanding. Only one, one way to know. I hope so too. Thanks for uh, for understanding. She's your family, your real family. I know how much she means to you. What's in the coffin? buried in that? Are you okay? Uh, Mom? Oh, uh, Mom? Is that you? Nope, it's Mantis. Not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... You came for me. After all these... Ooh, what are these? They're very shiny. Hey, over here. <sighs> Peter Quill. You're really here. I came for my mom. How do you know it's me? It's been centuries. No, millennia. I came here expecting to find my mom. I am called Mantis, and I can explain. <laughs> Whoa. 
Whoa, easy there. Oh, thank you. May I borrow that? Mm. You're gone. It will only be for a moment. Uh, yeah, sure. What? I have another one. you uh, you're welcome <laughs> it is so wonderful to be free of that tomb no longer trapped in my own mind alone you are truly the hero the legends foretold so brave and handsome <laughs> though Perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. Uh, Legends, you say? Where's my mom? Take your time. I crossed the entire galaxy because my mom was calling to me, asking me to come find her. Where is she? She is dead. But your mother, Meredith, she is alive in your memory. Yeah, that, uh, that doesn't explain anything. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One, that you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could, through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Yes! You should be proud of freeing me. <laughs> I no longer have to stare into the infinite crushing darkness. It was so boring. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Watch. Uh... Peter Quill is... Filled with worry about you. He likes when you hit people. Is that right? Hey, stop. Okay, what's inside me is for me and me alone to stress out about, okay? Oh no, he's getting flustered. Did I say the wrong thing? It's been a long time since I've communicated with anyone. And people can be so... Complicated. No, you were spot on, and that's the problem. Listen, people don't often want to hear the truth about themselves, okay? Oh. Yeah. I understand. Everyone is a liar. Pretty much. <laughs> you see, oh. I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. Sounds important. And introducing her to the others might be <laughs> really fun. Who should we try on first? Uh, Drax, Groot, or Rocket? Let's see. Uh, just try Rocket. I got just the one. Uh, something's supposed to be happening here? This furry little creature is unfathomably sad. Hey! Now he's scared and angry. Hey, cut it out! What is this, Quill? What's the bug lady doing to me? Mantis is an empath, Rocket. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? 
<laughs> the Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? I am Groot. She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? Oh, I can explain. Long ago... Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? <laughs> Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time <laughs> for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Peter Quill. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> so I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy <laughs> tried to use the forge. Oh, man, they're all falling asleep. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Kree decided that yeah, no culture the, had the matured enough forge. to use the forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated. Locked away until the time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that, Pete. Oh, uh... Oh, that's it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should have skipped all that nonsense. Same old story, every time. Told you, I told you. Then... I suppose the most important part, there is a legend of the Celestial One. Ah, uh, here we go. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One, what are they like? Advanced intellect, emotionally mature, wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond you his got own the wrong guy. selfish desires. To choose for the greater good. That's... <laughs> that describes me pretty perfectly. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> it is not funny. Peter is the celestial one. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this celestial what's-it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back, but when we tried to use it again on someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. <sighs> well, that really sucks. Uh... You said right now. Now, does that mean that things might be different later? Yes. You can change everything. How? The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There, you can unlock its true power. Or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone. Unlimited power? For any time you period. Say. Back to the realm of the living. It's like some ones. Indiana Jones loved crap, ones. man. I suppose That's a lot of things, so why should I if have If you were so inclined, though I do not know why, that seems ill-advised. You can bring back anyone? Like, anyone at all? Anyone who ever existed can be brought back, so long as you have the required energy, of course. One life for one life. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family 
is returned to me. I'm Groot. I? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something you just got like lost us. in translation. You speak Groot? Yeah, you try understanding I am Groot all the time. Those three words can mean anything. You mistranslated Groot. On purpose. How long have you been doing this? I just slipped up. <laughs> this was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? Using it might be we can bring back anyone that we lost a lot of at a cost. No uh... cost is too high. Wow. Uh, okay, this is uh, <laughs> it's a lot to process here. Kind of heavy on the responsibility, you know? It's. Let me think on it. <laughs> Well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. You have soft hands. Am I doing this right? You have. Extraordinarily soft hands. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> was there moisturizer built into that tomb thingy? There was not. <laughs> really? Huh. Well, I guess it's because, uh... Please, stop talking. Okay. Yep, not talking. I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Let's go help out Drax first. Calm down? Did you really just tell me to calm down? Because you just had to let... Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that... <sighs> but now, I am hopeful. The Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Rocket was clearly angered by what that woman said about his emotions. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. Wanted you to know better. Yeah. Okay. I probably shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. It, bad taste on my part. I am glad you are so apologetic. Though I do not understand how your mistake could taste badly. Her ability to see into our emotions. It must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. That's some true leave now. deep stuff right there. Damn. That was a heavy pep talk. It was a good one, though. Let's talk to them boys. I bet Groot's just gonna say I'm Groot. Hey, bud, what's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision. What? Are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. I mean, I, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back... Oh, boy, he's really Someone drunk. they love. How I could have used it for I evil? I won't kill someone to use it. I'm not gonna kill someone to use this thing. End of story. You already did! We killed Thanos, remember? And it saved you! you know, come to think of it, I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. It should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. Lila would be ashamed of you right now. You saw one damn memory of her. 
You're talking like you knew her? Go to hell, Pete. Only this time, don't come back. I am Groot. You can both go to hell. Uh-oh. Well, that's one way to clear his emotional unrest. I am Groot. Fine. 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 Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while, ugh, she won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely Don't even give up look on her. at me. That's who she is now. Uh, I'm kind of flip-floppy with these decisions, but I don't really don't want her to give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know, I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her. Communication's maybe, key, man. That's all I gotta had say. More time, I could try talking to her again when Make she's time. calmed down. Give time her some space more times. Uh, without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? Yeah. I have no them. idea. Them bastards. They killed Kenny. Maybe I can get her to hang around. Just maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. Yeah, totally. Uh-oh. I gotta talk to Groot real quick. Hey there, Groot. Oh. <laughs> Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. And I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. You hold still. Um. Hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey. It's me. <laughs> Peter Quill. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Like I said then, it was just a trust exercise. You passed. Pretty sure Gamora still needs convincing. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? Uh... <laughs> well, for one, you've got a pretty screwed up definition of family. Two sisters being forced to fight each other and kill people? That doesn't sound like a family to me. It was to me. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> oh, I love the attitude. I 
I like to sing uh, about the moon and a juna and a spoon. Is everything all right? What's going on? I can't stand this place anymore. I can't stand him anymore. Nebula, come here. It's the gold nugget. Nebula, my favorite daughter. I mean, purple nugget. Father. It's the purple your nugget. Your attacks against your sister were swift. The gold precise. purple nugget. I you disarmed know. Gamora easily. I cheated though. Gamora is a I good was teacher. impressed. <laughs> it was easy. I barely broke a sweat. I lied to him. It may have been easy for you, Nebula, but it was not easy. There is something you must know about Gamora. She has informed me that she does not want you around anymore. That she works better alone. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I know she's been difficult, but Gamora won't fail you, father. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself that more useless, honor. more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. Father, I need Gamora. She's my teacher and my sister. You underestimate yourself, Nebula. This mission will prove that. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Internal screaming. Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? Uh. What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Nebula. Father. anymore and neither do I if you don't get rid of her I will do it myself only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly give me the device Nebula what are you doing you took my kill give me the device in exchange give it to me now this explains I'm not everything. asking here no that's not how this works I don't take orders from you. Oh my god, what a twist. Then you leave me no choice. What are you-
What are you making him see? It wasn't over. You interrupted us. Oh, man! Uh, we were just getting to the part where she, um... You know... What? The part where she kills you? I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own back. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin. Gamora, you are. I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh, yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. I couldn't lie. I, I had to tell him. Your Admit life. it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me by killing If me. I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense. The only thing I know is I feel real sorry for the both of you. Man. Talk about family drama. Well, clearly, this was pointless. <sighs> I don't know what to believe or what to do. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something. What a surprise! I'm just as surprised as you. I figured you'd disagree with me just because that's what you do. Well, I'm not used to you saying anything I'd ever Maybe agree with. Maybe you just aren't listening. If I'm not, there's probably a good yeah. reason. And that reason is that you don't listen. Guys! Guys! Stop! You both want the same thing! He's... Damn. Actually right. It happens. Sometimes. Uh, more than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could... give each other a chance? All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. All right. Okay. Let's go. Blood on the tracks, cool. New achievement unlocked, nice. I'm actually having a lot more fun with this adventure. Well, if it isn't my favorite assassin sisters. <laughs> well, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. <laughs> Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Quill. I can see Rocket on drums, or maybe, uh, maybe. Thank Groot. you for talking to Nebula. No, it means a I can lot see Groot to have you. It gives me hope. Uh, what are you... Uh... Ow! Hey! What? Oh, uh, was that a dagger? Was it... What, you got a throwing star? There? Whatever, you got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. You're a good friend, Peter. Uh, hey, Pete, uh, I threw some mean words your way back there, and I, uh, I just, I wanted to apologize. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Hey, don't even worry about it, man. Best friends forever? Yeah, at least until death. It's close <laughs> enough. <laughs> nice. You take great pride in yourself. For someone who is so sad. <gasps> you are a very nostalgic person. <laughs> oh god, she's all emotional. Oh jeez, we already got her crying. Hey, whoa, what's the matter? Oh, poor thing. Why are you crying? Why am I crying? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, God. Little box. Uh, God. God. Oh, God. so much sorrow. Oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Just shakes his head. He's like, Sometimes ah. emotions overwhelm me and reflect back <sighs> onto others. Yeah, it's cool. <clears throat> I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Everyone on this <laughs> ship is so poisoned by their feelings, overly focused on the past, not living here. The force in the can now. change all that. It's hard to escape Experiencing the past. all the wonderful things around you. Like I think it's better to focus on the future. No, anything can be possible tomorrow. That is a hopeful sentiment. And very naive. But sometimes you need that. Thank you for letting me listen to your music. It made me feel better. And worse at the same time. I loved it. Hey, Mantis. Go to the shrine. Can you direct me to that magic shrine thing now? Of course. But it is a long way, and I must concentrate completely. There can be no... There can be no distraction... I didn't know it would do that. <laughs> oh, you have made an awe-inspiring man. Distractions. <laughs> See what I can do. I got some montage. Nebula was just laughing. They gotta sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> they can't move her arm. chair again. The sinking slumber. The entrance to the shrine. Damn. I 
sound like the door just told me you arrived. Kind of reminds me of Aladdin, again. Like, you know, remember in Aladdin when the giant uh, tiger talks or whatever? But he doesn't say this that. This is it. You know. He Yay, doesn't say you arrived another temple! <sighs> the Kree were not only skilled warriors, you can find great symbolism in much of their architecture. Yeah, yeah, they like pretty things. We get it. Now what, Pete? Mantis? Any pointers? It appears that the forge goes there. On the altar. Seriously? Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, just like Indiana Jones. Dope. the technology guys have a look around we can rebuild See if him. you can find anything that looks off mm, I am Groot. of course something's wrong because we're in a freaking creed temple where everything is anything? always more complicated than it needs to be the i mean ain't they ever me heard of an on switch grown quiet so Repair the statues. Determine the fate of the universe. Oh, is that all? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, are you glad you stayed with Gamora? Yes. I think staying close to my sister is what's best for both of us. I hope so. Because otherwise I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the blame. <laughs> He's all worried. at me there for a minute. There we go. <laughs> no, what you were saying? Rocket, tell Groot I need some help with the lens thingy. Okay, okay. I am Groot. Be nice to get some help here. <laughs> yeah, good job, buddy. Forge is going to be resurrected in no time. I am Groot. He says you might destroy it. That he hopes you do. Is that really what he said? They really want me to destroy this thing. One I more might, to go. I might just do Something it. Something tells me it's not going to be easy. 
But I wonder what the hell it does happen. Once we get all these statues working, are you ready for whatever happens next? That depends on you, Pete. You know how much bringing Lila back means to me. And only you can make that happen. How's it going, Gamora? Yeah. In a few minutes, we're gonna have to decide the fate of the Eternity Forge. Not we. You. For whatever reason, this is all in your hands. Look, I know you haven't really sided with me or taken any of my advice lately, but... The Forge is dangerous. You have to make sure no one can use it. Ever. Kind of convinced. Okay, let's see. This big guy used to stand here holding up that giant whatever it is thingy. Then things go bad. Age sets in. Oh no, I dropped it. Ah. So where did it go? Hey, buddy. Well, we're about to seal the fate of the Eternity Forge. Yes. Your decision will leave you despised by much of the team. Good pep talk. Thanks, Drax. No matter what you choose. Yep, you can stop now. It is a hologram. You are so stupid. Oh, <laughs> uh, she's Shut not up. dumb. You're gonna cause more problems, man. Oh man. What now, Celestial One? Jet boots overheated. Can you help me lift that big stone off the lens? Nope. <laughs> well, all right then. Oh man, I was so messed up. He 
he's like right there. Drax, I need your muscles. You cannot have them. They are attached to me. No, I know they... Uh, I need your help. I've got to lift something very heavy. Ah, I see. You are weak. I will help you. <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> Crushed to death ain't on my list of to-dos, Pete. I'm sure if you just reach really hard, you, you could get it. Maybe dislocated your shoulder or something? I cannot fail. Please, Rocket, I need you. Ah, all right. When I get smushed, I better be first in line for some resurrection. Stop. She read her mind. But there is still her. no statue upon which to set it. I would have gotten the lens, guys. I was just, you know, working up to it. We'll have to work yep. together. We just gotta, you know, work together. Oh, you mean like a team? What a novel idea. Yes. Teamwork often brings good feelings. Hmm. Perhaps we are doing it wrong, Ben. Okay, listen up. I need everyone over here. Nope, not gonna happen. Just a little higher. My arms can't go any Your higher. My muscles are soft. Shut, Shut up. up. Guys, stop talking. Like a baby's bottom. Shut up. No, that's my face. I'm a very fat baby. Sorry. Hey, what do I know about... Whatever you are, anatomy. Idiots. <laughs> you people enjoy having their faces stepped on. It's done. That mean I can drop this thing? I was hoping it was gonna break. I'm gonna take dynamite to all of them. Now it is truly time to decide. Turn the forge to the left to destroy it forever. Turn the forge to the right to empower it and bring it to its full potential. His right or your right? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. What? what? Let me see. Wow. I can't believe that almost happened. Turn it this way to destroy it. Turn it this... Yeah, we got it. Turn it to the right, Pete. It's left, Peter. You want your left. Peter, you must turn it left. No! It's right to empower you, idiot. Oh, yes. Go right, Peter. I am Groot! Destroying the forge is the only way we can keep it from hurting uh... people. Don't listen to her. Think of your mom. Think of Lila. I am Groot. Shut up already. He's gonna use it. I promise you my undying loyalty. Oh, so much you bring pressure. my family back to me. Don't you see, Peter? Everyone wants this power, and no one should have it. I'm sorry. This thing is way too powerful for anyone to wield. We gotta destroy it. Thank you, Peter. I was warned by her and many others. Like, I'm not upset that I'm destroying this. I don't believe anybody don't should. Let go. 
ever have to uh, carry that weight. Rocket, I know you're upset. You don't know anything about me, lady. Perhaps she has never lost a loved one. She has only killed the loved ones of others. Drax! You don't talk like that to my sister. I will talk to Gamora in whatever manner I please, robot. I am Groot. Oh yeah? And what would you know about it? You're a freaking piece of wood! The process has begun. You can release it. I am Groot. You can't even communicate on your own. Think I like translating for you every single I time? I am Groot! Now you're gonna start. Drax, back me up. You are all... Horrible people. No offense, Drax, but wisdom isn't your strong suit either. Guys, we got company! Thank you, Peter Quill. I never could have found this shrine without you. Uh-oh. And the tracking device genes are placed on your ship. You know, I didn't think you could get more annoying than that time you killed me. <laughs> you really suck. Their usefulness has expired. Dispose of them. Had about enough of this. God, boots are more busted than I thought. Woo! How you like me now, huh? <laughs> huh? No, 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 no! Uh oh. Get up, get up, get up. Close call. Perish to the depths, blue demon. He knows he can just let go, right? to have made you sad. <laughs> That's her power. We should do this more often. Depressed. Looks like the boys could use Watch some help. Mantis, dude. She's gonna this make won't be easy. Hope not. We'll be listening to Bauhaus. 
No more. Hope you're happy, Quill. You did what needed to be done. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Episode 3, More Than a Feeling. All right. That was pretty cool. Let's see. You and 79%. The players use your words against a bully. Cool. Turning Nebula. Eh. All right. Cool. 93% of us, uh, of the players, convinced Gamora to make up with Nebula. And... Cyborg, cyborg on board. We got 94% of the players decided Nebula should say. Yeah, I agree. You know, honestly, you want to keep your family together. Separation always, uh, like, it's always good to heal, you know, like they were saying earlier within the game, but like, you know, if you, if you just ignore them, uh, you can lose, you can lose, uh, contact of them. Lose them out of reach. You can lose them. 
So this was pretty cool. This was a great, uh, great game. Great so episode. So just tagging along, but she's only creating more questions than answers about the Eternity Forge, about Hala, about everything. Janitors of the galaxy. That's what we should be called. And Hala and the Kree, well, they're just the latest cosmic spill. As much as he's wrong about almost everything he does, Peter was justified in his actions with the Forge. She agreed with me? I mean, <laughs> of course she did. Can I get a copy of her saying that? <laughs> it's what happened oh, next man. that he should regret. Uh-oh. So, that was episode three, guys. That was pretty badass. Uh, I love this game. It feels great to be back, honestly. I, I'm happy. I'm glad I got my computer problems uh, and all that crap fixed. And it's it was about, like, a little over two months. So, I'm glad we're back. I can't wait to start episode four. And we should have some more South Park uh, soon. So, anyways, uh, I think we're going to call it good here, guys. And as always, we'll kick it again in the next video. Later!